So my dad taught me that love is warm, kind, gentle, and committed, and my mum taught me that love is community, hope, and survival. That love is not just warm, fluffy feelings and joyful experiences. Love can also be personal pain transformed into social good. It is the energy we need to sustain us through the frustration of trying to create change. Therefore, given isolation, competition, and exclusion, love is genuine dialogue. Given the existence of power, love is resistance. Given the existence of privilege, love is solidarity. So joining with others across difference, being allies. Given the existence of inequality, love is liberation. Given the existence of harm, love is redress. How we help people to find justice, to, to make an unfair situation fair. So indeed, love has a magical, mysterious, mystical essence, but it also needs to be concrete and grounded in everyday actions and interactions. This is my view. And these interactions are never finished. They can always, we can always become more or less loving than we are now. So my view is that if love is genuine dialogue, listening to the most marginalized, and understanding that's not a fixed thing, that that's shifting and changing all the time, who we, who we see as the most marginalized. And if, if love is joining them in their struggle for liberation, then I believe that not only can we love people that we work with, but this love can move us into action, into challenging all forces that work against it. 